of conversions and also a penalty as he closes on that magical 900 test points and uh, namibia still scoreless remember they lost 87 nil to south africa four days ago with me is cobus visa but johan dierhardt i'm sure would be very pleased with that last 20 minutes it'll take a lot from that but his team needs to lift themselves it's their final 40 minutes of this world cup they must really go out there and play out of their skin but they need ball in hand they need to get that back line moving forward Warren Gatland uh, having made so many changes to his side and uh, 11 in fact and uh, uh, perhaps a little bit of cohesion uh, has let them down but uh, certainly it's a great opportunity to to give the fringe players an opportunity and there was Lee Halfpenny coming in to create for Scott Williams it was a great work by this young winger joining the line but this big center sending him away scoring a great tie look at the perfect inside pass forward pace and the timing and williams going hard for the corner yeah another one of the uh, exciting young players just 20 years of age big work by bradley davis there and now that williams had a straight sprint to the line tight forwards in the backs combining well Shrugs off the defense and then a little short pass. Great timing of the run by the big winger Brew. And he jogs over for five. And there's Ryan Jones. And that really put them under pressure. Van Vake was there. But watch out for the big Welsh number eight who gets on the scene very quickly here. All started with a quick tap by Jones. Going, taking the game to the Namibians. And then a little short pass. Falatau, he wanted to get over that line, and he did. Rampaging finish there by the 20-year-old number eight for Wales. Uh, a big bolter selection, and uh, he's really put his stamp on this World Cup. So the halftime score, 22-0. Wales needing another try for their bonus point. But a very stern resistance from the Namibians in the second quarter. It really is a delightful evening in New Plymouth as the Namibian players and their Welsh counterparts take the field at Stadium Taranaki. There's a big crowd in and the Welsh certainly clearing out in that opening stanza of the game, showing some great touches, scoring some lovely tries, particularly the, the first one to Scott Williams where we saw Lee Harpenny and uh, Jonathan Davis with some lovely interpassing. But Namibia, Matthew Cooper really coming back strongly in that second 20 minutes. Well, they rattled them, didn't they, Gordon? They rattled the Welsh and uh, maybe the Welsh 11 changes. They're just struggling to get their game together. Guys must be trying too hard. Uh, but full credit, their line-out's working well. There's been a good introduction from Larson at, uh, at tight head. And they had a good passage, so let's just see how they can go. Tian Kotsa gets the second half underway here at Stadium Taranaki. It's Pool D, the so-called Pool of Death. And Wales leading Namibia by 22 points to nil at the break. Wynne Jones takes a hit, but he's met solidly. A couple of the big tight forwards for Namibia. Lee Byrne now on that uh, trusty left boot. Was taken by Bota. He wants to land it inside. That's classic stuff from the fullback. He's been one of their best in the tournament. He's been doing very well from the back tonight. Not so many chances and opportunities this time around. Well judged kick. He scored a great try against Fiji. No changes to either side after half time break. And I'm sure Johan Dierhardt would have said, uh, no mistakes, we want discipline and we don't want any turnovers. 
This is for Landa. Probing taken by Felatau, who was smashed out of the way there by Captain, Captain, bring them back. Yeah, Newman Hayes. And there's a good kick from Yankees. Playing good territory again. Eugene Yankees, who says he's modelled his game on Jimmy Cowards. Well, probably on Dechard, number one coach, telling his boys half time, kick for territory. We want to play in there 22. Win Jones allowed it to go through there to Ryan Jones. It's hard keeping up with the Joneses in this Welsh team. Back now to Damez. He missed it. Warburton's there. Noel to Jones. This is Davis. Just taken low there by Funfake. Desperate tackle. Not much on this short side. Obstruction the ruling. And maybe we'll be happy with this. Not a good take by Damas. And then Warburton, he's been all around the park in the first half. The captain just driving on as they start to get momentum. A bit of obstruction and breathing time for Namibia. Well, if they're going to bring in their big man, he's been the go-to man, game, hasn't he? Nico Esterheis. And uh, Time off. here he is. He's a bit slow, isn't he? Coming to the coming to the lineup, but look at the size of him. Two hundred and five, yeah, Matthew. Absolutely. And he's just out, just outstanding. He's the don't know what he does, but he's uh, tell you what, he wins the guaranteed ball all the time. And that's Heinz Colley's partner at the front. Cots are then in behind Lee Halfpenny, wanting a nice little off break. We call that one a leg break, won't we? Well, Cobus and Test Rugby, there's been three outstanding kicks from the Namibian side, uh, and they're just putting the pressure on, which is outstanding, just keeping it right in that. That territory of, of the Welsh side. Falatau. There's the gap. Almost ankle tap the first time. Berger told to roll away. There's an overlap here. This is Davis. Burn outside, but Jonathan Davis still going. Half penny and Drew. He's already scored one. Picked up there by Yankees in a nick of time little knock on that was really very impressive sortie there out wide by the Welsh backs in particular nice interchange and Jonathan Davis showing his class desperate defence by Namibians had to scramble all over to prevent this try Looking for support. Good show of the hands. Not great defense by Namibia. But good support play by the Welsh team. Brew looking for that try line and then just losing the ball forward. He's disappointed. Well, Lee Halfpenny getting a little bit of treatment for Wales back on the 10 meter line. Been very impressive. There's Jonathan Davis. He's had a, a very strong game. He's, he's a good runner, isn't he? He's got some speed. And in fact, the, the Welsh backs, when they get a little bit of space, they are looking very likely. Half pennies back into position. Crouch. Touch. Pause. Engage. That's a good scrum again from the Mibia. Picked up by Noyle. Stats from under the nose there of his opposite. Brian Jones there. Straight into Duplessis. Number five, it's only 10 metres out here. Felatau. Noyle to Warburton. That's a big hit there from Jacques Berger. Here's Jones. Fanzao was there. 
Yep. Pulling off some very big hits in close. Palatau taken over the top, but he offloaded well. Stephen Jones goes to ground. Went backwards. Oh, he's gone straight through Scott Williams. He bounced off them like a pinball. Well, so, sometimes the shortest route is straight ahead. And that proved to be the point of Scott Williams. Another five point and a bonus point try. Well, Matthew, Matthew Cooper has 16 missed tackles from Namibia in the first half, and it's come back to haunt them here after doing so well in that area. Well, they would do. They tackled very well, uh, the Namibians, just before half time. But here it is there, all power. He's a solid customer. The midfield's actually very good. The Welsh midfield, just some nice lines, some good hands. Uh, they've met some pretty stiff uh, defence from the Namibians, but uh, that's important. Warren Gatlin gets his first chance now for this group to get their bonus point from scoring four tries early in the second half. And that's a third conversion for Stephen Jones. So he's up to nine points now. Bit of a rolling pass, but well picked up by this man. He's strong, straightforward, straight ahead. Five points. Palatau, again taken by the workaholic Berger. Have to be on your feet. Hey, good steal, he just went on the ground. Played it. Get off your feet without throwing it. We've spoken a bit about Berger, but also Duplessis, Tim's Duplessis, the blindside flanker. He's also putting in a lot of work off in terms of defence as well. Specker and the movie has been one of the highlights of their tournament. Putting in so much hard work, Nivenais, Duplessis and Berger, putting in tackles, stealing balls at breakdown point and carrying it up. As a unit, they perform really well. Time for the Welsh captain to have a spell. He's had uh, a pretty busy two and a half games, hasn't he? Been replaced by Andy Powell, number 19. And Powell immediately gets into the action. He's a loop from Jones, but he was a decoy. Noyle to Powell. Good offload. Half penny. Clever kick. To Lander there first. Solid aggressive tackling though from Half Penny. Taken here by the Yankees. And he looks for the safety of touch, but not for long because they're away again here. Davis. Nice angled run from Jenkins, the prop. Still going. Jenkins! Can he go all the way? That's the most popular try of the night. That's probably the most popular try of the millennium in Wales. <laughs> Gethin Jenkins. He would turn around saying, all I need now is a one in front of the three on my back because he ran like a centre. Well, Matthew Cooper, that'll be a 60-metre try by the time it gets to well, his grandchildren. Well, it's been a great comeback, hasn't it, from Jenkins. He's been injured, had a lot of calf injuries, foot injuries, but then he just started the big charge, and here he goes. He puts the hammer down. It's like a charging ball. The Welsh Dragon's over. Well, Coop, you've got to appreciate that show of the hands a couple of times. <laughs> He's had a frustration with the injury. He had an operation on his toe and missed the end of the Six Nations. But he certainly showed plenty of toe there, didn't he, for a big man? Oh, beautiful rugby. It'll, it'll, go, it'll creep out later on in the night, Cobus. That'll be about a 70-metre effort. As Warren, <laughs> Warren Gatlin, very happy to see the big prop go over for a yeah, try. As a former forward, he'll really appreciate that. Great work by Captain Jenkins. He's a former front rower, wasn't he, Warren Gatlin? Absolutely, played a lot of rugby in the right cattle. Thirty-six to nil then in favour of Wales. And uh, that last conversion has actually taken uh, Stephen Jones past 900 test points. Mitchell did well. This is Noyle, Powell, Jones. They're calling for it out wide. Davis. 
control from halfway. Back to Williams. Burns in from fullback. And Philander, the tackler. Yeah. 